Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading the Old Testament chronologically in 111 days or on day 101. Today we'll be reading more Ezekiel, starting with chapter 34. So, Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 1. Let's get started. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? Ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the wool. Ye kill them that are fed, but ye feed not the flock. The diseased have not, ye not strengthened, neither have ye healed that which was sick. Neither have ye bound up that which was broken, neither have ye brought again that which was driven away, neither have ye sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have ye ruled them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd, and they became meat to all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains, and upon every high hill, yea, my flock was scattered upon all the face of the earth, and none did search or seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey, my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd. Neither did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against the shepherds, and will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more. For I will deliver my flock from their mouth, that they may not be meat for them. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. And I will bring them out from the people, and gather them from the countries, and will bring them to their own land, and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers, and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in good pasture, and upon high mountains of Israel shall their fold be. There shall they lie in a good fold, and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock, and I will cause them to lie down, saith the Lord God. I will seek that which was lost, and bring again that which was driven away, and will bind up that which was broken, and will strengthen that which was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong, and will feed them with judgment. And as for you, O my flock, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, between rams and he-goats. Seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures, and to have drunk, it, drunk the, of the deep waters, but ye must foul the residue with your feet. And as for my flock, they eat that which they have trodden with your feet, they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet. Therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle, because ye have thrust with side and with soldier, and pushed all the diseased with your horns, till ye have scattered them abroad. Therefore will I save my flock, and they shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle, and I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David, he shall feed them, he shall be their shepherd. And I, Yahweh, will be their God, and my servant David, a prince among them. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will cause the evil beasts to cease out of the land. And they shall dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. And I will make them, and the places round about my hill, a blessing, and will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increase, and they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have broken the bands of their yoke, and when I delivered them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. And I will raise up for them a plant of renown, and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land, neither bear the shame of the heathen any more. Thus shall they know that I, Yahweh, their God, am with them, and they, that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith the Lord God. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your God, saith the Lord God. Ezekiel 35 Moreover the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, 
and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee. I will make thee most desolate, and I will lay the cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare unto thee, uh, thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, and thy hills, and thy valleys, and thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Because thou hast said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it, whereas Yahweh was there. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Thus with your mouth have you boasted against me, and multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith the Lord God, When the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Edomia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Ezekiel 36 Also thou, son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord God, because the enemy hath said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Therefore prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord God, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession to the rest of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers, and are an infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God to the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, to the valleys, to the desolate wastes, to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and a derision, to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen, and against all Dumia which have appointed my land into their possession, with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds, to cast it out for a prey. Prophesy therefore concerning the land of Israel, and say unto the mountains, and to the hills, and to the rivers, and to the valleys, thus saith the Lord God. Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and my fury, because ye have borne the shame of the heathen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I have lifted up mine hand. Surely the heathen that are about you, they shall bear their shame. But ye, O mountains of Israel, ye shall shoot forth your branches, and yield your fruit to my people Israel, for they are at hand to come. For behold, I am for you, and I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. And I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, even all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be builded. And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will settle you after your old estates, and will do better unto you than your beginnings, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. Yea, I will cause men to walk upon you, even my people Israel, and they shall possess thee, and thou shalt be their inheritance, and thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of men. Thus saith the Lord God, because they say unto you, Thou land devourest up men, and hast bereaved thy nations, therefore thou shalt devour men no more, neither bereave thy nations any more, saith the Lord God. Neither will I cause men to hear in thee the shame of the heathen any more, neither shalt thou bear the reproach of the people any more, neither shalt thou cause thy nations to fall any more, saith the Lord God. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as uncleanness of a rem removed woman. Wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land, and for their idols wherewith they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way, and according to their doings I judged them. And when they entered into the heathen whither they went, they profaned my holy name, when they said to them, These are the people of, of Yahweh, they are gone forth out of his land, but I had pity for mine holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whither they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus saith the Lord God, And do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for mine holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whither ye went. 
I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, saith the Lord God, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take from you among the heathen, and gather you up out of all countries, and I will bring you into your own land. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you the heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments, and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. I will also save you from all your uncleannesses, and I will cause call for the corn, and will increase it, and lay no famine upon you. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree, and the increase of the field, and ye shall receive no reproach of famine among the heathen. Then shall you remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good, and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight and your, for your iniquities and for your abominations, not for your sakes. Do I this, saith the Lord God. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the way shall be builded, and the desolate land shall be tilled, where as it lay desolate in the sight of all that passed by. And they shall say, This land that was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. And the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, Yahweh, build the ruined places and plant that which was desolate. I, Yahweh, have spoken it, and I will do it. Thus saith the Lord God, I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them with, with men like a flock, as the holy flock, as the flock of Jerusalem in their solemn feasts, so shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Ezekiel 37 The hand of Yahweh was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh, and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, they were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a noise. And behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and then the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet in an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried, our hope is lost, we are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, I will cause you to come up out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live. And I shall place you in your own land, then shall you know that I, Yahweh, have spoken it, and performed it, saith Yahweh. The word of Yahweh came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it, for Judah, and for the children of Israel, his companions, then take another stick, and write upon it, for Joseph, and the stick, the stick of a frame, and for all the house of Israel, his companions, and join them one to another, into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of a frame, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and I will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and will make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the chief the children of Israel, from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land of the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king unto them all. And they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. 
Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places whereon they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. And David my servant shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt, and they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, their children's children forever, and my servant David shall be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them and multiply them, and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them, yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people, and the heathen shall know that I, Yahweh, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Ezekiel 38 And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech, and Tubal, and prophesy against them. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal, and will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords, Persia, Ethiopia, Libya with them, all of them with the shield and helmet, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togorma, in the north quarters, all his bands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared, and prepare for thyself thou and thy company, that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. After many days thou shalt be visited, and in the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword, and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste. But it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm, thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands, and many people with thee. Thus saith the Lord God, It shall also come to pass, that at the same time shall things come into my mind, thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, and dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls, having neither bars nor gates. And take a spoil, and to take a prey, to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited, and upon the people that are gathered out of the nations which I have gotten, cattle and goods, that dwell in the midst of the land, Sheba and Dedan, and all merchants of Tarshish. With all the young lions thereof shall say unto thee, Art thou come to take a spoil? Hast thou gathered thy company to take a prey, to carry away silver and gold, to take away spoil, cattle and goods, to take a great spoil? Therefore, son of man, prophesy and say unto Gog, Thus saith the Lord God, and in that day when my people of Israel dwell safely, shalt thou not know it? And thou shalt come from thy place out of the north parts, thou and many people with thee, all of them riding upon horses, a great company, and a mighty army. And thou shalt come against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land it shall be in the latter days. And I will bring thee against my land, and the heathen may know me, when I shall be sanctified in thee, O Gog, before their eyes. Thus saith the Lord God, Art thou he of whom I have spoken in old time by my servants the prophets of Israel, which prophesied in those days many years that I would bring thee against them? And it shall come to pass at the same time when Gog shall come against the land of Israel, saith the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy and my fire of my wrath have I spoken, surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel, so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the earth and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence, and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground. And I will call for a sword against him. Throughout all my mountains, saith the Lord God, every man's sword shall be against his brother, and I will plead against him with the pestilence and with blood, and I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon many people that are with him, and overflowing rain and great hailstones, fire and brimstone. Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Ezekiel 39 Therefore thou son of man, prophesy against Gog, and say, Thou saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal. I will turn thee back, and leave but the sixth part of thee, and will cause thee to come up from the north parts, and will, will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel. I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand, and will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. Thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, 
Thou and thy bands, and the people that is with thee, I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort, and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. Thou shalt fall upon the open field, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord God. And I will send a fire on Magog, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel, and I will not let them pollute my holy name any more. And the heathen shall know that I am Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, it is come, and it is done, saith the Lord God. This is the day whereof I have spoken. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth, and shall set on fire, and burn the weapons, both shields and bucklers, and bows and arrows, and hand staffs and spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years. So that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any out of the forest, for they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that spoiled them, and rob those that robbed them, saith the Lord God. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel, the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers, and there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude, and they shall call it the valley of Hamon Gog. In seven months shall the house of Israel be burying of them, that they may cleanse the land. Ye all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glorified, saith the Lord God. And they shall sever out of men of continual employment passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it after the end of seven months shall they search and the passengers that pass through the land when any seeth a man's bone they shall he set up a sign by it till the bruisers have buried it in the valley of hamangog and also the name of the city shall be hamona thus shall they cleanse the land and thou, son of man, thus saith the Lord God, speak unto every feathered fowl, and to every beast of the field, assemble yourselves, and come, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice, that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Ye shall eat the flesh of the mighty, and drink the blood of the princes of the earth, of rams, of lambs, goats, bullocks, all of them, fatlings of Bashan. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunken, of my sacrifice which I have sacrificed for you. Thus ye shall be filled at my table with horses and chariots, with mighty men, and with all men of war, saith the Lord God. And I will set my glory among the heathen, and the heathen shall see my judgment that I have executed upon my hand, that I have laid upon them. So the house of Israel shall know that I am Yahweh their God from the day, from that day and forward. And the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity, because they trespassed against me. Therefore hid I my face from them, and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. According to their uncleanness, and according to their transgressions, have I done unto them, and hid my face from them. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob, and have mercy upon the whole house of Israel, and will be jealous for my holy name. After that they have borne their shame, and all their trespasses whereby they have trespassed against me, when they dwelt safely in their land, and none made them afraid. When I have brought them again from the people, and gathered them out of their enemies' lands, and I am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations, then shall they know that I am Yahweh their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen, but I have gathered them unto their own land, and have left none of them any more there. Neither will I have my face any more from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Lord God. Okay, yeah, lots of judgment upon uh, Israel and upon the nations surrounding Israel. So, we just have a couple more days left of Ezekiel and only a few more days of this whole reading plan. Then we'll start with the next one, so I can't wait for that. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you guys have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in Him, trust in Him, wait upon Him, hope in Him. And you'll never be sorry. God willingly, we'll see you tomorrow with more Bible reading. So, thanks again. Take care and God bless.